The following video is intended for adult collectors and is not recommended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. Howdy folks, it's Kato again with another Transformers review. And in the world of Transformers, there are few characters that are as awesome, as magnificent, as brilliant, as gorgeous, and as brave as Skylinks. And if you don't believe me, just ask him. Save your ammunition, Autobots! Superior forces are taking over! When the War for Cybertron trilogy introduced the new Commander class, everyone was wondering what characters were going to be made within that class. Of course, we started off with Jetfire, who turned out to be one of the best figures of the Siege line. Now, to match up with that, the second Commander Class figure that we get from the War for Cybertron trilogy is Skylinks. Now, I'm going to take a look at Skylinks today. I picked it up at a Target. I actually found it in the wild yesterday. And I'm really looking forward to taking a look at this guy to see if he matches up to the quality that we found in Jetfire. So without further ado, we're going to roll the credits and get looking at the accessories and then the figure himself. It's Kato! Now one of the first things that pops out of the box right away is the little map of the galaxy or whatever they're calling these things. Again, I don't particularly care about these, but I'm glad they exist for those that like them. And this one says the dead universe. You also get these little pods here that can be used in every mode little they could be jet boosters lasers whatever you want but yeah molded pretty well gray and white not too shabby you get two of these small blast effects here and they're all right mine got a little warped there as you can tell but simple five millimeter port you know what to do with these you also get this much larger blast effect that actually contains one of the smaller ones and a few other pieces that come apart much like you got with Omega Supreme they look like we've come to expect and that is a good thing and of course you get the instructions that we've come to know and love with the Earthrise line the blue and white really makes it easy to read and understand and the instructions do a fantastic job of getting you from point A to point B and in this case to point C and possibly D. While we've got him here we'll show you where some of these things can plug in. Of course anywhere there's a five millimeter port you can plug them in there here wherever you want to and the blast effects of course can plug in to the thrusters in the back and really anywhere else that you want to if you need to kind of whoosh, whoosh him along and he does have wheels on the bottom and he rolls fairly well now in his combined shuttle and carrier mode he looks amazing i mean this is what we I, I i don't like the word deserve but as fans we should be pretty happy because this is a nice sized figure it's big enough to feel like you're getting your money's worth and it absolutely looks brilliant we'll flip this over take a look at the bottom side there um, that came unplugged but no big deal plug that back in and looks like his wing came unplugged too but because of me messing with it but it looks it really does look good. I don't have the Mastermind Creations version of Skylinks, but this is a fantastic larger scale stand-in for pretty much anything you want. As far as some of the gimmicks here in the shuttle mode, there aren't a whole lot. You don't need a whole lot, but you can open the shuttle bay doors here to find some nice paint inside there. And one very cool thing uh, is they of course got the license rights from NASA 
to put that on there. That really nice gold and red Autobot logo and a lot of nice little details throughout. And what a better name for a shuttle than the Magnificence for this guy, right? Gold paint on the windows. I mean, between the paint and the choice of colored plastic, some gold there, they really knocked this out of the park. For a quick comparison in this mode, there he is beside Siege Red Alert, Earthrise Optimus Prime, and New Age Starscream. Now to get him apart from this mode, there's a small lever right here. If you push and it releases that, and just slide back from this little tab here and that little slot there, and we'll set the shuttle aside real quick and take a look at the Lynx slash carrier mode. Man, the red, white, and blue on an Autobot. What could be better? There's a reason this guy has a huge ego. You can see on the bottom the wheels, uh, the faux tracks, and then the wheels for some nice rolling there. Absolutely gorgeous. Now getting him into his Lynx mode is pretty straightforward. Just bring these down. Bring the feet down like so. Same on this side. Rotate this down and bring those feet out. You also need to pull these little things that widen, it, widen them up there. And you probably want to get a couple clicks of an angle out like that. On the back, very similarly, just tilt that down, bring the feet down like so. Very straightforward. You don't really need instructions for this at all. And then it's just a matter of getting those angled wherever you want them. Come to the bottom, flip out the tail, and then just pop that down, rotate that Lynx head out, and then close that back up. Easy peasy transformation, but so very effective. I really, I can't stop playing with this guy. Uh, you can get him in whatever pose you want there. We'll worry about that later. But wow, this, that nice gold on the head, the mouth opens and closes. You've got this little laser tongue there and yes blast effects will fit on that so that's awesome red autobot logo here on the head on that nice gold paint and blue eyes coming all the way around again most of this is carrying over from the carrier mode but absolutely brilliant you got some nice side to side motion here on this joint the head can go up and down here. Of course, the mouth can open and close. Just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> really, really, really like this. Uh, the, you get a full range of motion in each of the legs at those nice ratchets there. You get some twist at the upper, I guess what would be the upper elbow. Be careful though, they're on a mushroom peg right here and that has slipped off on me a couple times, but easily remedied, just pop back on. Of course, you get a nice ratchet there at the elbow and a ratchet at the foot and some nice ankle tilt there. So all in all, plenty of articulation from this guy. Uh, the tail you can bring up and down I've already shown the head. Uh, the only thing really missing is a little bit of ab crunch. If this guy had ab crunch, it, it, it would just blow me away. But then you can get a couple of more kind of fearsome poses out of it. And there he is beside Siege Red Alert in vehicle mode. Earthrise Optimus Prime. New Age Starscream, and I think that's starting to look a lot better for scale. And Earthrise Ramjet. Now getting a closer look at his shuttle mode again knocked it out of the park. 
nice gold. Again, the magnificence and the NASA symbol there, the NASA logo. Nice gold paint along the cockpit there. Really great molded details. More along the wing. That really, really good looking Autobot logo. Gold on the fin around to the thrusters. Looks fantastic. This guy deserves to have a big ego. He looks absolutely amazing. And underneath, everything cleans up pretty well. You, of course, do get some landing gear here at the front and along the back right there. If you want to have that up. It slides more. Even though they do roll, it does slide more than roll. But it does really look good on display. Wow. Very, very impressed. There he is beside Siege Red Alert. And with some Toy Hacks upgrades. Earthrise Optimus Prime. New Age Starscream. And fellow Earthrise Red and White Flyer, Ramjet. Now getting him transformed into his uh, Dragon Bird, whatever the heck he is, mode is about as simple as you can imagine. You can start by opening up this tailpiece here and extending out the new dragon tail. Be careful with this. This joint right here is just on a little C-clamp and it does tend to come undone. And just close that back up and get that tail all stretched out. Now just come to the head, give that a nice little tug, stretch that up. Of course, fold that landing gear in, open that mouth up. Now for the wings, there's just a tab here and here. Just going to unplug that, fold that up on its little nice ratchet there, hold the wing out and then slide it open. Same thing on this side, unplug, ratchet up, unfold and slide out. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's get those up and out of the way. My least favorite part are the feet, but the transformation is pretty simple. Just bring those down, nice tight ratchets. Swivel that down and open up the toes. Same on this side, bring that out. Open up the toes, swing that around. And I'll get him neatened up and see if I can get him to stand. Well, after some doing, I got him to stand. That is the most obnoxious part about this entire figure in any form is these blasted chicken legs. They're okay, but he is so front and or back heavy that he just wants to go to one side or the other and these little chicken feet don't always stand up to the task but if you fart around with him enough you can get him to stand now as far as gimmicks on this guy of course i already showed you the mouth can open up and he does have laser tongue and the blast effects will fit on said laser tongue. You've got, of course, all the paint and stuff from the shuttle mode carry over, but of course you've got these nice blue wings. Nice details on those and articulation on those is pretty darn good. Nice ratchets there. They can come out if you want to. Uh, I'm not gonna fiddle with that too much because I could see this getting pretty loose over time and getting really floppy. On the tail, you've got all these different hinges here for plenty of articulation. And of course, the actual tail fin can tilt back and forth. On the neck, you've got some side to side at this bottom ratchet here, some up and down there on that nice tight ratchet. And uh, let's see, each one of these is ratcheted. So you've got that and the head can go up and down and some side to side there. So nice movement in that big old bird head. Now the feet and the legs, I mean, I'll, I'll give it to them. They gave us plenty of tight ratchets. Of course, you can come back and forth there, in and out, uh, ratchets here, swivel, ratchets at the toe or at the feet are very tight, which is a good thing for when you do finally get him to stand and the toes 
and heel spurs tilt there as well as some ankle pivot. So all the best of intentions were there, but oh hell, now he's, I'm not gonna get him to stand up again. There he is with Seed Red Alert, Earthrise Optimus Prime, New Age Starscream, and Earthrise Dirge. Now let's collapse these legs and get him ready for his combined mode. Tucked right in there. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Just curl those toes up, straighten this up, tilt that in and get everything tucked away just like so. And one thing I will say, these mushroom pegs could be much, much tighter. But now he is pretty much ready for combined mode. Let's set the links up as well. Getting links ready for combined mode is much easier. Just tuck the tail back in like before. Open this up, close the head up and rotate that in. And then close this back up and he is ready. So in the combined mode, you have basically two connection points. There's this tab and this little lock slot there, and they are going to go right here and right there respectively. See if I can get that on camera. Not that it's difficult, just a matter of having enough room to get everything in there correctly. And it's locked in pretty well. I'll readjust the camera and let's take a look at it. Because this guy is just kind of awkwardly big and takes up a lot of space, I just lift the camera up, so bear with me. But uh, for all intents and purposes, he is magnificent. And for size comparison, there he is with Earthrise Starscream, Earthrise Ramjet, Siege Red Alert, New Age Starscream, Earthrise Optimus Prime. So that is pretty damn impressive. Now getting Skylinks into his final mode, I just went ahead and got him back to how he started. No need to show that. You guys know how to get him there by now. Super easy. But we're going to get him into his base mode. Uh, the shuttle is done. So just unattach that fella and set him aside. And most of the transformation is done from this point right here. First thing you want to do is flip him over because the base is here. Now I'll readjust the camera and we'll get started. From the underside, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get these legs untabbed and folded around. Now the instructions show bringing this all the way up and folding these down to give them a bit of a wider base. So fold that down and bring these here and you'll have the beginnings of a fully stretched out base mode. On the side here, going to just untab everything, this whole row here, stretch those out. Go ahead and bring these out as stabilizers. Now bring the legs up, those wonderful ratchets, and bring the toes up and just straighten them up like so. Same on this side, bring that up bring that up and rotate like so. And the hard part is pretty much done. Now you will bring this out, fold that, give it this ramp, bring these down here. They snap in there pretty good for that ramp there. And then you have this final ramp that will come up and extend. Now, the shuttle has ports here and you have plugs here. I'm going to tell you, mine does not plug in very securely, so I kind of just have to balance it. But it's going to go right here, like so. Open this puppy up and fold that down there. And you've got your base mode. Now the little pieces here that I haven't used very much, just they can tab anywhere, but the instructions show them tabbing here. 
and they show one tabbing straight up I, I think that's hideous so I just put both of them like so now I'm going to lift this camera up again and we'll get a good look at him in his base mode. Now the base mode is actually really impressive. I like how it looks. I think it comes together pretty well even though mine doesn't quite want to tab in there it still does really well. You can see these ramps leading up to the shuttle bay. Ramps down here and of course all these ramps have the connectors for other bases, other MicroMaster bases, and Titans, etc. etc. It looks really good. Now while I've got it here, you can see how it looks alongside a MicroMaster. Really impressed with this. And for a nice comparison in his base mode, there he is with pretty much everything I've used as a comparison so far. New Age, Starscream, MicroMaster, Red Alert, Earthrise Optimus, Ramjet, and Skywarp. So my final thoughts on Earthrise Skylinks. Overall, I couldn't be happier with it. He's not perfect, and I'll go over that in a second, as you heard <laughs> through the review. But as far as what you get bang for your buck, if you find this guy at retail, absolutely worth it. All modes work pretty well aside from those bird legs, which I'm glad I will never keep him permanently in that bird mode. I hate those legs. They tried. I respect that. Not great. But as far as all the different modes, the base mode looks great. The combined mode is just impressive the lynx looks fantastic absolutely love the way that looks the ratchets are great i love the design the color the little magnificence the nasa logo it's i mean it's damn near perfect guys just the separate bird mode those legs are tragic at least my copy i hope other folks have better luck but uh yeah, no complaints at all from me uh, as far as a, a mass retail pickup. Absolutely brilliant. Glad I found it and couldn't be happier with how I'm going to display him. It works perfectly. Definitely makes me want to get a Power of the Primes Predaking, uh, but I do have that King Toys Predaking that maybe I can use with it. I don't know. Either way, this guy looks great. So there you have it. My review of Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Skylinks. <sighs> I love it. Uh, I hope you guys can find it if you haven't already. I know I'm kind of a little bit late to the party. Other folks have gotten it already, but I couldn't help it. I wanted to review this guy, and I'm so glad I got him. He looks fantastic. Uh, if you're in a position to help the channel, just do so by hitting that subscribe button, liking this video if you haven't already, and share the video out there. I'm eerily close to that thousand subscriber mark, and you know, I can't do it without you guys. So if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button and share the video out there. Always check out the other rejected cons at Sardo News by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inu Tabi. They will all be in the description below. And as always, guys, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and always play. This is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. <laughs>